Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing a new cigar from Crown Heads. Actually, I've got three cigars, new cigars from Crown Heads that I'll be doing in the coming weeks. But today is the first one. This is the Four Kicks Mule Kick 2020. This is a Nicaraguan Puro made in Ernesto Carrillo's factory. There is the density. It's a very light golden brown wrapper. Now, as I said, this is a Nicaraguan Puro and it is five and seven eighths by 52. Five and seven eighths by 52, not six. And th uh, th this is the uh, should be the fifth year. Uh, the past four years has become an annual release. The cigar uses a Nicaraguan Jalapa wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. So that's sort of the long and the short of it. I think we should just get right to it. Again, this is the first of three new crown head cigars. How about that? So let's get right to it. The new Four Kicks Mule Kick 2020. All these crowned head cigars have a little band at the foot, which is usually very easy, as is this one to remove. And now we can, that's a very flat cap. I like that. See if we can take just the flat top off. Okay, pretty good draw, little firmness. I don't think it's gonna make, I don't think it's gonna be a problem though. It's drawing pretty good. Well, you got a little cedar, a little brown sugar, a lot of a uh, creamy nutmeg, very earthy black coffee base, black pepper at around seven. There's not an overabundance of sweetness at the outset. I'm a little concerned about that. You know what? Let me tell you something. This is the fifth sample I've had. If this um, lines up with the others, I'll be sure to let you know. But I'm just letting you know, everything I'm gonna tell you, I've, this is the fifth cigar I've had. So uh, let's see how we look at the first third. Okay, about an inch in or 17 minutes in, it finally develops a little before this, but by this point, you'll see where the flavor notes have developed. They blossom because at the outset, you don't have a lot. It takes a while for it to get going. Now it's a very sweet, predominantly citrus with some cedar influence, a lot of brown sugar and cinnamon, a lot of orange peel a lot of nutmeg and the earthy black coffee. The black pepper seems to be better now too. Don't ask me why it takes three fourths to an inch to wind up and get going, but uh, it does. So uh, just want to let you know that we're not at the first third yet. So I'll be back when we are. here at the first third almost perfect you can imagine that being a third of that cigar now the cigar is still like it was at the one inch point for the most part there's like some lower level uh, 
earthy, leathery notes mixing in now. There is, at this point, uh, a substantial amount of a high-pitched citrus, primarily uh, flavor, with some cedar influence. A lot of brown sugar attached to that high-pitched citrus. Still have the cinnamon and the orange peel. Excuse me, orange peel. You have the nutmeg and the earthy black coffee. So there's a lot of darker notes in here, but there's a lot of high-pitched notes in here. I would call the cigar, believe it or not, medium bodied. It's not even that powerful tasting right now. The finish is a lot of nutmeg. Again, another cigar. There's really not a really a lot of sweetness on the on the finish. It's primarily just a a nutmeg. Decent lingering black pepper. But a cigar is good. It's not great. It's not. It's not as good as I thought it would be. I'm, I'm writing the first third 92. Optimistic that things will go better down the road. But we'll have to see. Into the second third. One very positive thing I can say about this cigar is just before this point, and I kept taking pictures because I wanted you to see this because you wouldn't believe it if I didn't show you. Look how long the ash got before it dropped off. This is a picture that was taken just a few minutes ago. And you can see how long the ash is. And it was very tight. But eventually gravity took its course. Now as far as this cigar, you still have... Now, this is... This cigar is going just like the other four did. At this point, when you take in the draw, you have a very nice, sweet citrus brown sugar and cinnamon you have your nutmeg you have your very light leather now and you have black coffee when you first draw it in you have that but you got to let them smoke out at some point when you do it is the most i don't know where this comes from but there is an extreme bitterness Earthy bitterness, bitter, bitter, bitter. It is very unpleasant. You start getting that at about the midpoint. And here we are at the two thirds point, and it's going strong. It is, uh, I, I, I have no idea. When, when I read that this was a Nicaraguan Puro, I was very excited. But apparently, all Nicaraguan tobacco is not created equal because this is very bitter very unpleasant and uh, the nice sweet notes you get when you first draw uh, do not nullify this amount of bitterness I'm, the second third I'm lowering it to 89 and uh We'll have to see if this is as low as it goes, but I'm telling you, this bitterness is not pleasant. So, let's just see what happens in the final third. down to the end nice burn so let's wrap it up I can say that about this cigar it burned great okay that's about as far as the nice things will go I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be very nice in what I'm about to say this cigar is if you were in a car and you drove off a cliff 
and went straight down. In the final third, there is some sweetness by and large. Predominantly, it is nutmeg and earthy black coffee. And there's some bitterness there. If this was the first time this had happened, I would say, well, let's give it another shot. This is the fifth time it's happened. So I think that's just the way this cigar is. Medium to full body. Finish is still straight nutmeg. Improved and lingering black pepper. But uh, this particular edition of the Four Kicks Mule Kick is not something I want to try again. My apologies to Crown Heads if you're offended, but this is just not a very... I've had a lot of their cigars, and they've done good or decent or whatever over the years, but this one is not it. Final third, I'm rating it 82. Keep in mind, as low as I go is 80. I will not go anything lower than an 80 out of respect for the industry. But this is not a good cigar in my opinion and I'm just one person so if you out if you're out there and you have them and you think I'm crazy and you love this cigar please tell me you're not gonna offend me I've had five of them I know what I think the flavors I've described are accurate that is, that is what you can expect based on again five overall score is 87.67 that's a generous score because the only thing that kept it that high was the first third. First third was pretty good, 92. I mean, it was a solid 92. After that, it went downhill. So, that would do it. The Crown Heads Four Kicks Mule Kick 2020. I had to remind myself. 87.67. <laughs>